Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today, we're back with a kayak fishing video. We haven't done one in a few weeks now, so I'm like, man, I wanna go explore some places with the kayak in hunt for some giant bass. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. It's a beautiful day outside. Let's go ahead and look at the conditions and see what we have. So if you look up, we got a little bit of cloud cover, not much. We got a slight bit of wind, which I'm not the biggest fan of when I'm kayak fishing, but this place is a little protected. It's got a lot of trees around it, so I think the wind's not really gonna bug us today. I got the kayak trailer out today, and here is the Bonafide SS-127 that I'm gonna be whipping around. That's Delton's kayak right there. He's actually not with me today, but it was already on the trailer. I took Alan Bob's off, it was up top, but we just kept that one on. But yeah, we got the kayak right here. We're gonna be loading our rods in it, and then we're gonna take it down to the lake, drop it in, Hopefully find some big fish. I'm excited for this one. So you guys probably remember this from a recent video. This is actually right where we ended up putting the kayaks in. It was hard enough with two people. I'm curious if I can get myself down here today. And more importantly, that freaked me out. More importantly, get the kayak back out of this lake. But let's go ahead and look down. Let's see how everything's looking. Looks, oh gosh, I'm already slipping. See, it's gonna be hard getting this kayak out by myself. I will say pine straw for some reason is super slippery on the feet. But here's the beautiful lake. We're just gonna go ahead and grab the kayak and we're gonna go ahead and put in and start exploring this place. We were here a few months ago. I found a hidden creek in here and I ended up having like one or two bites and I know that they were big ones, like really big ones on a frog. So I wanna go explore that creek. It's all the way down on the other end of this lake. It's gonna be a little paddle but we're gonna go down there and I'm gonna hope that we can hook a big one. I know they're back there. We saw them last time, so I'm excited about it. Let's go ahead and get the kayak. Let's drag her on over here and uh, put her in the water. energy drink got me a life jacket got my rods let's go ahead and load this up first so slippery to get down <laughs> this is actually really hard it's a little tricky spot to get in throw my life jacket back there we'll set that in the cup holder pliers we'll just put in there water bottle we'll put in there and my phone we'll put in there all right this one's gonna be interesting Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I almost freaking fell in right there. I hear something. What is that? I heard you back there, boy. Jumping on that lay down. All right, let's get situated. We're on the water now. That's the hard part. We're good. So if you guys are wondering what I have tied on today, I have a hybrid jig by Six Cents with a prawn on the back. I don't know if I'm going to end up using this in here, but I had it tied on from when I was on the boat. I got a frog, which I think is going to be a useful bait for a big bite today. I got a divine swim jig, which could be some sauce. And lastly, I have a little fluke, which I think is gonna kill it today. But let me tell you my problem with the fluke. This is actually my only fluke, unless I have some in the kayak, which I do not know if I do or not. But this is the only fluke that I actually have. So that's gonna be interesting. I think we're gonna start off with this today and uh, see if we can somehow hook into a big fish. All right, so we have a decision to make. The creek that I really wanna go to is that way and so you go through this part of the lake there's another little creek and then it opens up to another big part of the lake which is about four times five times the size of this and then and there's another creek in the back that leaves this little backwater open area that's super the, the visibility is insane but then there's this other creek that's back here which i think we might should end up starting out at first just because we're i mean we're here so we might as well give it a shot so i think we're going to work back into this little this little creek over here and uh, see if we can find any fish. We'll start off with this fluke. We'll throw that frog around a good bit to see if we can catch some fish on that. Um, and we'll see if we can whack them today. But like I said, this is my only fluke. So I'm kind of kind of worried about it. I already know I can whack them on a fluke. Like in the last episode, that's exactly what I did. I was out on the boat on the lake and uh, we caught them pretty good on the fluke. I know it. I'm smoking them in here. It's just I'm worried because I only really have one of them. So if we start like smacking them on a fluke, what are we gonna do? That's my only concern. 
Well, let's go ahead and start casting around. Let's work our way back in this creek, see if we can find some good fish, and then we'll start working our way over to the other side of the lake and uh, fish that ultra clear creek that I think has some really big ones in it. Ooh, did you hear that? Sonic did. I can't tell if that was like a little bluegill or if that was a bass. So I kind of changed my mind. Now let me tell you why. So the water clarity on this end of the lake is kind of like tannic water. It's got that brown tint to it and it's it's got a good bit of visibility like you can still see down in the water a good bit but it just has that weird murkiness to it. It's like that tannic water. So on the other end of the lake, the bigger area and by that other fresh little spring creek that's pouring into this lake is a lot clearer and I think this time of year with these fish positioning to bed and this this and that I think that other side is going to be it's going to set up a lot better than this side so I think we're going to go ahead and work our way over there we might fish a little bit along the way but for the most part I think I really want to get on that end I think that's where a majority of the bigger fish are going to be Oh, yeah, yeah, first fish. That was awesome. I was like reeling the fluke in and he just ate it. He's a really small one. He, he like blew up on it like a top water. Heck yeah. About a pounder. That's okay. Not, not a big one, small one, but to start off the day, that's like perfect. Heck yeah. Like I said, guys, every time I catch the first fish, I do not care the size of it. Even the first five fish sometimes, you know, you really got to figure them out. And that's a beautiful little bass. Not big, but still a pretty one. Let's get you right back in, baby. You got some beautiful colors on you. Beautiful colors. There she goes. First fish today, that is a great sign. Did not mess up our fluke that much, which is <laughs> awesome, because we do not want to do that off the bat. That is great. Little little monkey off her back. We I was gonna paddle to the other side. I'm still in this first little little pocket area. We're not in the big lake yet. I just decided to make a few casts and hook one up real quick and get the monkey off her back so we don't have too much pressure on ourselves right now. Can't go wrong with fish in the mouth of this creek right here. In my opinion, there should be a big one right here. Now the wind's going to rotate my kayak all the way in a circle so I cannot fish. Amazing. Well, here we are. We just made it this big open body of water over here the water clarity is totally different it's still a little murky right here but once we get out I, I can already tell just by looking at it from afar the water clarity is just totally different I like this bank it's a steeper bank it's really shallow water in this lake this bank right here is a lot more steeper than the other banks leads into like a smaller pocket back here i think there's going to be some fish stacked up around this 
We just need to fish this left hand side really good. This right hand side could be good as well, but we really need to focus right here and then all the way back in that corner. Golly, where'd this wind come from? Why, why is this just like a surprise here? It's not been this bad earlier. The wind is whipping. I'm calling this one, that's a fish. Yep. Oh, that was a good one. And I stuck him. I stuck him. Son. Son, son, son. I didn't expect one like that. That was about a three and a half pounder. There's a smaller one with him. I saw it. There's two fish. Freaking one that ate me was big. What? I knew that cast like too sauced. Too juiced. No way she's going to bite again. A smaller one might bite. That's aggravating. I didn't think she was that big, and then I saw her mouth open up. I was like, no. I might have should have let her eat it for a little bit longer. Should be another one back here. Oh, that's money. Oh. Oh, what? 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 The fish ate it like a topwater. Oh, my gosh. No way. Let's throw it back in there. Oh gosh, that was crazy. Now he's not gonna bite again. I never stuck him. Ah! Oh, oh he, he almost fell in. Oh he ate it! <laughs> what? Look how small he is. Are you kidding me? I was about to say he's behind it. <laughs> I almost fell in the water over this little guy. I can tell you one thing we got to be careful with. I do not want to roll up on this. I want to fish this area right here. This is like why I came right here. Get off my line. That is the struggle of kayak fishing. Especially if you don't have like pedal kayak. Or a motor. Or anything on this. Let's see if there's another one. God. That was so funny. That little tiny fish almost made me fall in the water. Ooh, there's a fish right in front of me. Oh. He like turned and ate something right there. Oh, no. <laughs> he like went after it. What are you doing? What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? You gonna eat it? Are you just gonna play with me? These fish are really trying to play with me today. So if you guys are wondering, we're actually heading back into this creek I was talking about. That, you know, extra. Golly, right there. <laughs> I almost fell in there. That's actually a good one. Yo, let's go, baby. Heading back into the Clearwater Creek. Got a good fish right here. Uh-huh, little guy, but he's bigger than the rest. I got you on the top and the bottom jaw. That's actually pretty impressive. See his head? See how his head's just so big? You almost put me in the water, you little guy. Thank you, though. But yeah, we're heading back into this little clear water creek. That's a good little sign. That's the best fish we've seen today. Or actually, I had that one that was actually around three pounds, but that is uh, the best one that we've caught today. We're about to start heading back here. The water hasn't really cleared up quite yet, but once you get back in here a good bit, that's when it starts to clear up. And I think I'm gonna try that frog. I really think the frog's gonna be the golden ticket today. Well, there we go, guys. That is a refreshing little catch right there. That fish blew up on, I skipped her right up on that lay down and she just went right over the top of it. That's exactly how you want it right there. We're gonna keep on working back in here. I think there's gonna be a lot more fish. This is the very important part right here is we gotta be super stealthy. 
Like this is inches of water once we get back here. Not only is it inches of water, the visibility is ridiculous and it's a very narrow creek, very small. You know, you can only fit a few kayaks side by side when you're going through this, if that, you know, I don't even know if you can fit two kayaks next to each other. So we're just gonna play it very, very safe here and work very slow. You know, I'm usually the type of guy that covers a lot of water and I, I like to work really fast, but right now in this situation, we're just gonna have to slow down pick our poison, get those good casts where we need to be getting them, under those laydowns, next to some of that vegetation, any little bends and creases in the bank, you know, that's gonna be very important as well. So we're gonna to need to hit all those little areas. And uh, we should come out with a couple big fish in here if we can, you know, keep our cool, stay calm, be quiet, and um, try to put together a big bag back in this little creek. You see what I'm saying guys? See how like tight and narrow this place is back here? It's a bunch of grass. I need to be quiet. I'm not gonna be paddling around too rough back here. I just wanna make sure that we can get back to where these big fish are. This is the breaking point. So you're still, you still have some clear water here, but it's still got that like tannic look to it. Right when you break right here over this little grass, grassy area, we're in about six inches of water. This is where it's gonna get really clear. You're about to see a water visibility change. Oh, bass right there. And the bass just hit right there on the bank. And I know this sounds crazy. You notice when I just set my paddle down, how I set it down really soft. Just, you don't wanna, you know, put off a lot of vibration. Every time someone's on my boat, I say the same thing. You know, if we're fishing and someone opens a compartment, you don't wanna slam that. I know it sounds crazy, but even the vibration off of you slamming things down, can spook those fish so that's the last thing that we want you know we want these fish to eat when we're coming in back here we don't want them to know that we're coming up on them so we're gonna play this very stealthy Oh my God, my rods, not my rods, so much. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> get me out of here. Come on, Rod, don't do this. So much for being stealthy, so much for being stealthy. This whole time for nothing. Come on, dude, are you really gonna do this to me? You're supposed to help me out fishing rods. You're not supposed to be against me in this situation. Oh, you're just being, rude you bet we better catch a big fish back here oh my god get off this tree dude I'm gonna break this rod man guys we're approaching the back of this creek I'm trying I'm really trying to be quiet last time we were here I threw a frog right here in the back of it 
and I had a really big one come up and eat it and I just wasn't paying attention and I lost them. We saw multiple three plus pounders swimming back here. So I'm just really trying to play this strategically and try, try to fish every little area that I can. And there's a ton of grass, as you guys can tell on the edges. But right here is the back. We're about a mile back in this little cut. I'm debating if I should stop and go ahead and start throwing my frog or just go right to the back. I just know we're gonna have probably one opportunity. We're just gonna have to capitalize. I'm gonna be upset if we don't have this opportunity, but I think we should possible opportunity while back here. Oh my God, that's the cast. We traveled all the way back here for this cast right here. All right guys, so you're probably wondering what just happened. I ended up leaving that place and I'm actually at my backyard pond. I haven't been back here in a while and I've actually been wanting to come out here and fish this. I'm gonna have you guys leave, a, this is the question of the day. What type of videos do you wanna see out of my backyard pond? Because I haven't really filmed out here in a while and I actually enjoy filming out here, but every time I post a video, not really many people watching. I don't know if it's because you guys don't like me fishing out of the backyard pond, but I actually have a lot of fun back here. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys could leave some comments down below on like video ideas on what I could do back here. This is a little place right out here. This is one side of it. You guys know if you go that way, it branches off to the main lake, then it has another pocket and then way back in the corner has another pocket. It's more of like a lake than a pond almost. It's actually a pretty big place. So I'm excited about this. We're about to dump the kayak in. So let's go ahead and start lowering her down to the water. And we're going to get out here and try to catch some fish. But let's go ahead and get in the kayak and uh, see what we can put together today. All right. We are going to just hop in. All right. Oh, I just literally pulled my pants down. That's nice. You know what I'm curious about? One, I'm curious about what the water temp is. And two, are the fish bedding? Nice. What is going on in here? I have not been in here. And I... I I don't even remember the last time I fished in my backyard pond. And be honest with you, fishing could be really good. I don't know. This place is really tough. This is probably one of the toughest places there is around me. So it's going to be fun. I don't know. I'm excited about it. I think we can catch some good fish today. We're just going to have to experiment and uh, see if we can get on some big bass because we did not get on them in the last spot. And I don't know if it's the conditions or the big ones just aren't biting today. But we're going to figure that out. Let's go ahead and get it started. The wind has picked up a lot more and it doesn't seem like much on the water, but let me tell you, when you're kayak fishing, it can be a pain in the butt, but let's go ahead and get this started. Oh, no way. Yo, this might be a big one. Look at him running. Oh my God. Oh my, guys, look at him running. Look at this fish running. What? I've never had a bass run that hard in my life. This is actually pretty quick too. Decent fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was, I've never had a bass run that hard. I thought there would be some bedding on this bank. Sure enough, first cast, like really good cast up there. He had it. I didn't even move it. About a pound and a half. Right there on the cloud, baby. Look at that. That's a healthy fish. Might be some more along this bank. Literally my cast landed on the bank i click my reel he was already taken off with it i hook set fish ran all the way out here and then i caught up to him he's only about a pound and a half he ain't nothing but that fish was strong let me tell you and that's awesome that's a great sign beautiful lateral line on that bass let's get you right back in bud that was awesome well that's a good start right there that was about i think the biggest fish today probably and then was on the clout in nirvana it's a good little sign. There might be some more fish. There has to be some more fish on this bank. Oh, 
looked at him. Look at him running the same way. This fish ate it as it hit the bottom. Or it didn't even hit the bottom. Look at how they're running sideways. What is wrong with these fish? Woo! Oh! Why are you guys running like that? Yo, that's a good one. That might be two pounds. Let's get you right on over here, bud. Yeah! And he is not that big. He's actually smaller than the last one. He seemed bigger. That, he was right there on the edge of that grass. Literally, I threw out there. Same, same way as the last. He fought the same way. He bit the same way. He ran the same way. <laughs> Everything about this fish literally replicated exactly what happened with the last one. He does not have it in his gullet. He just got it really good. Ah, there you go. Pretty little guy. Get you right back in the water, bud. Just about a pounder. Little pounder yonder. I thought you were two pounds, but you are not. I didn't let you go yet. Calm down, Jimmy. He's got like a little white spot on his eye. There he goes. How sweet. 